Welcome back to survivability. Today we're we're going to we're going to see the survivability of our of our third most powerful nation going the uh, oh wait no wait the now Physivis which the, the, we're going to do the, the great Physivis or the great Physivis this one here now we're going to look at the cons and pros the cons uh let's see let's find a con so they have two cities Cons, they only have free cities. And the other one, cons, they only have free cities. And then one is an enclave, which is very, very bad. But is it? Yeah. It's an, yeah, it's an enclave, which is not that bad. Second of all, second of all, second of all, um, they're, they're landlocked. So they won't like manage to survive any, they won't survive like, like a, like they won't have ways to escape. Other, another one is that, the no, another one is that they, that they have a, that they, that they, another one is that they have pretty large, pretty large, due to having only three kingdoms, they, I mean free, free, creek village, only free village, their population would be pretty high and stuff. Therefore, therefore, making it hard for people to run forward and stuff. Yeah. Also, uh, and yeah, which is pretty bad. Also, they lack resources and probably won't get their feedback. But that's a hypothesis. Also, they're pretty small. Their land mass is pretty small, so they will most of the the land will be destroyed. So and all and but here's the like pros. The pro I mean, and the and the pros is that most of their two village will be safe. The only thing that's problem is that they won't have enough. The enclave might not have not have a little has a little less, but so far they they're pretty pretty positive. Also, the part a great vast alliance which which they border around the void alliance, which is uh, which is which is with Great Isof, but. Also, North Con is that most of the kingdoms surrounding them is Crab Union, so it's probably difficult. Also, they have a lot of kingdoms to to go for, and due to the new Kabam might affect other countries due to their very small landmass. They might unite the force and attack who is responsible for it, which is pretty good. Also, they have trees that might actually help them actually. And yeah, so but there's not a lot of pros because I don't think the time will survive. But let's check. So let's see. Okay, they're. So they're going for the uh, I turn up to go. Um, wait, right. good. Now I'm gonna land. Oh my god, uh, one here. Face to face. Wow. And one here. Wow. Just like I, I corrected, like just like I apologize. A lot of countries are land just got destroyed, including some of Great Isof, which is horrible, even horrible. Also, also yeah, but yeah, which is horrible. But as we see, the the population managed to go up, and they're ready to start creating land. But they they were having a hard time because most of because most of a lot of their things are destroyed, and yeah, and they don't look like they will survive anytime soon, and. Yeah, the vegetation is dead, but also, but, but slowly, but slowly, um, but slowly, uh, actually not that slowly, but, but hopefully the, the, the vegetation might grow back and they might start over. And so far they are, they, they a lot of people are already starting growing already. I think, yeah, they're starting to grow, but no, they lost more people. So, and they're already losing land, actually, actually losing land. So we'll give this a viability rate of three out of ten. And that's it for today and we're gonna see another video.